Things are going well so far in League 2. Can we keep it going today in a big game as we attempt to undo the knots in today's episode of Walks to the Prem? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And in today's video, we are away against Notts County, away at Meadow Lane in what should be a tough game. Both teams are doing quite well in the league. And so before we do get on to what's been happening since we was last together, I'm going to be trying something new on the channel. It's something I've seen Second Yellow Card doing and I really like it. So... I'm going to start doing it here on my channel as well. And what it is, is that he starts off his videos looking at players in his squad and going a bit more in depth on them. So that's what I'm going to do here. And the first one we're looking at is Dylan Crow. And why is he the first one we're looking at? Because he has got the best average rating out of the whole squad so far this season. And also, he started surprising me. This is the third season we've had him. But he's got a few games in right midfield this season. And he's done quite well when he's been when he's been pushed up there as well. So, I thought to have a look at him. You can see his attributes here. Decent crossing, decent dribbling, which is obviously helping him when he has been played out on the right wing. As well as his decent acceleration and his pace. He's a 24-year-old Jamaican. He's actually played three times for the national team. And about a month or so ago in the game, I got a question in a press conference about if he should be getting more games for him so we're getting a couple internationals in the squad now which is always good he's six foot he's three star current four star potential ability so he might even get better even better which would be very cool to see and so if we have a look at his stats for the season thus far you can see he's won exactly half the games he's played in. He's got two man of the matches, average rating of 7.02, and his best is an 8.6 game he had. And that was at right back. That was against Flyde in the league. And so if we have a look at that game, you can see it there. He got an assist from right back. He completed 64 of it of his 80 passes. He had three key passes. Two clear cut or two chances he created and tackles attempted. He, had, he attempted one and he won that one. And so you can see that he had a very, very good game that day and he has been very decent. You can see there his one goal for the season was against Grimsby in the league. And again, he had another decent game there. Didn't quite do as much as what he did at right back, but maybe that's because he because he, he was a bit further forward. He didn't have to do as much. And so, let's have a look at his happiness as well. You can see he's very happy. He's a long-standing squad member. He's set for regular playing time. He's got very good ability. And his morale is excellent. And he's happy to see the club performing well in the league. And he's apparently indifferent to his peers viewing him as a highly influential player. Not quite sure if that's a good or a bad thing. Let me know down below what you think. And he thinks the excellent support for the manager, that be me, is fully deserved. So I'm very happy with that. He's very happy. And I'm one of his favourite personnel. Me and Thierry Henry. We are like that to him. He cannot pick who he likes more between us two. And so that's very cool to see. And so now let's go and have a look and see how we've been getting on since we was last together. Which, what was what game was we last together for? It was Newport County one, wasn't it? And so, we drew that one. And then since then, we lost two on the bounce. But one was in the league against Northampton. Very disappointing result. The other one was in the stupid leasing.com. Nobody gives a crap competition. But since then, we have gone one, two, three, four, five unbeaten in the league. Starting off with a draw against Coventry. Coventry are top of the league. So that's a very good point we got there. And then we drew 0-0 with Oldham. Disappointing game. Rubbish. Don't really want to know any more about that. 2-1 win against Crawley. Very decent performance there. Nathaniel Lewis and Aberdeen Goodridge with the goals. 
And then another nil-nil draw against Port Vale. They went down a man very early on. So we should really have taken advantage. But they put 10 men behind the ball. And defended very well. And then since then, 2-1 win against Chesterfield. Tristan Aberdeen Goodridge with both the goals there. He's not playing today. He's picked up an injury. He's out for about a month, I think it is. Let me have a double check on that. Uh, yeah, six weeks he's out for. So, yeah, not the best news we've ever had. And then Stockport in the FA Cup. Very disappointing result. Stockport are a league below us. We just couldn't break them down. We tried to go very attacking with like 10 minutes left and it cost us. And then after that, 1-1 draw against Grimsby in again the stupid competition. And what's even more ridiculous about this is that both of us was already out before this game was even started. And it still had to go to penalties. The most pointless penalties I've ever seen in my life. But we lost. Don't really care. We're out of that competition. Now we can just focus on the league for the rest of the season. And so the team for the game against Notts County is going to look a little bit like this. We've got Herbin in goal. Tyreek Wilson at left back. Barnett and Chandler in the centre-back positions. Dylan Crow at right back. And in the midfield, it's Lewis on the left. McCarthy and Simmons in the middle, DiMaggio Wright Phillips on the right hand side and then it's David Marsden as a shadow striker in behind Russell Denton who's got a chance now for the next six weeks to really make a good impression. Let's hope he can. Come on you Linets. Just before we do get into the game, you obviously want to see the league table, don't you? We are second in the league, just a point behind Coventry. Notts County are in fifth. If they win, they could go above us. So this is a big, big game. If we can win, you never know. Might go top. Who have Coventry got to play today? Coventry are playing Lincoln. So that could be a difficult one for them. So you never know. We could go back top of the league at the end of this game. Let's go and get into it and see what the bookmakers have got to say. They've got Notts County as the favourites, but not by a whole lot. And our form is very similar. And uh, We've beaten Notts County the only time we've played them in this save. So hopefully we can make that two wins against them. And now let's go and get into the game. Here we go, Notts County going with a 4-3-3. Very attacking formation there. Let's hope we can withstand the barrage which is surely going to come our way. We're going to need our giant Dave Barnett to be strong today. And now into the dressing room. Well, I'm going to go passing it. You know what I want to do. I'm going to say... Oh, I can't say I've got faith. Yes, I can. Thank God for that. I thought my George Michael team talk had deserted me then. And most of the people are motivated or happy. Prediction time. 2-1 win, I'm going to say to us. 17 minutes into the game, Notts County with the ball to start off this first highlight. O'Keefe crosses it into the box, Lopez with the header. And that thankfully goes over the bar and we survive at 0-0 for the time being. But now immediately after that, Notts County are still all over us, but we've got it back. Xavier Simmons, has he got a man ahead of him? No, he hasn't. But he squares it to McCarthy, who squares it again to Marsden, who goes wide to Lewis, who cuts inside there with a very nice touch. Can he get the ball through to a teammate? Nope, but he goes back to Simmons. To DiMaggio White Phillips, who's into the box. Can he take the shot on? He does, but not the best shot you're ever going to see, is it? And now loads of highlights in this game early on. Hanlan with the ball, he's crossed it in and... Fabio Lopez with an easy goal there. What was the keeper doing there? We're going to have to have another look at this on the instant replay. And the ball came in from Bolton. Hanlan with it. Crossed it in. And yeah, Herbin just didn't get there quick enough. 28 minutes in now. Lewis now coming forward with us. But he loses it. Goes to their man, Mayawonga. And we've headed it forward again. And Denton to Marsden. Marsden with it. Goes to DiMaggio White Phillips, who beats his man there. He's into the box. Can he cross it? Is he going to? He has eventually. He's crossed it. And Lewis with the header. And it's hit the bar and come back out. And Notts County have scrambled it away. 38 minutes gone now. Lewis with the ball. 
What's he going to do with it? Goes back to Wilson. And Wilson, is he going to get an early cross in? No, he's not. Goes to McCarthy. Back to Wilson. Who's got another chance possibly to cross it. He's trying to get past his defender. Goes to McCarthy. He crosses it in. DiMaggio's in space. And DiMaggio with his fifth of the season. With a beautiful header there. Gave their keeper absolutely no chance. And let's have another look at this one. Wilson it was. Beating his man. Plays it to McCarthy. Whose cross was beautiful. DiMaggio's header. And left their keeper absolutely hanging in midair. Five minutes till half time. Mayoonga with the ball. Barnett heads it away. Marsden into Simmons. Simmons out wide to DiMaggio Wright Phillips. And DiMaggio, he's got a man out wide if he wants him, but he cannot get the ball to him. Notts County clear it. Barnett again, the giant heading it away. McCarthy into Lewis. Lewis coming forward with the ball. Lewis, come on, what's he going to do? Goes out wide to Wilson on the left-hand side. To Lewis. Into McCarthy in the middle of the pitch. And he's, that's a beautiful ball through to Lewis. He's gone for the shot and we've turned it around. Nathaniel Lewis with a beautiful placed effort just into the side of the net. And that's Nathaniel Lewis's fourth of the season. And have a look at this pass here. This pass just did it. McCarthy, oh! She knew exactly where Lewis was going to be. And Lewis, almost Thierry on Ries. One more highlight before half-time. Notts County just giving the ball back to us. Lewis plays it. Why is he going to? No, he's going to keep hold of it. Goes back to, the, to our big friendly giant. And he goes all the way back to Herbin. And now what's Herbin going to do? I think he's going to go to the left. Nope, he's gone into the middle. McCarthy goes to Simmons. And Simmons out wide to DiMaggio, our first goal scorer of the day. He goes inside, he gets fouled there, but apparently not. And Nuraki with the ball into Hanlan, surely he was offside. Oh, that's Hanlan's 23rd of the season. We're only in November. What a freak is Hanlan. How has he got 23 goals? Well, like this. And Hanlan, he wasn't offside. He beat Barnett for pace. And yeah, very good goal there. What can you say about that? Wow. Four goals in one half of football. Don't say I don't give you value for money here on this channel. Notts County have had 10 shots to our nine. They've had seven on target to our six. 53% of the ball. And let's go dressing room. Let's go team talk. Uh, I'm going to go. We can still win this. And only a couple of people are motivated. And come on. Let's get everyone else motivated. Here we go. Everyone bar what? One is motivated. So come on. We can still win this. Come on you Linnets. Five minutes into the second half. Stavrou collects the ball off the Notts County throw in. And can we get this ball back off him? Nope. They go back to Ballard. And now Young is in oceans of space. And here Herbin with a decent save there. Pushing the ball over the bar. And what are Notts County going to do from this corner ball? They've taken it quick. Barnett heads it out. And now it's Mayorunga with the ball. Crossing it in again. And again we head it away. Bolton now with it. To Dickinson. Come on, let's get this ball back. Dickinson is into the box. He's tried to go for the shot. He's hit his own man. And now Hanlan's there. And it's a good save there from Herbin. I thought that was going to be Hanlan's 24th of the season. Come on. We need to get this away. This is a spell of a lot of pressure. And I don't like it. Barnett heads it away. And now Mayorunga again coming forward. And thankfully that highlight is over. Just about 20 minutes left to go in the game. We've made a couple of changes. Akeem Rose has come on for Denton who has done absolutely nothing today. And Murray has come on for David Marsden. And as well as that, we're going for standard passing directness. We're going to shoot on sight rather than work the ball in the box. And I think we're going to leave everything else as it is. In fact, you know what? We're going to try and counter when we win the ball. But that is it for the last 20 minutes. Can we nick a winner? Wilson now, with a throw in for us, goes to Murray, who just gives it away to Bolton. 
and he squares it out wide with a long ball, but Crow is the only man there. He tries to head it to Simmons, but it gets intercepted by Yoaki into Lopez, and Young is in space, and as Barna can get back, which he can't. Young with the shot, and it's 3-2, but it's offside. It's offside. Oh, oh, thank God for that. Oh, my days. How offside was he? Is this going to show us? No, it's not. Okay. But carrying on straight away. Lopez with a cross for Notts County and Hanlan with the header. And that goes out. And it's all Notts County at the minute. We need to survive this barrage. Young with the ball. Tries to cross it, but it gets blocked. And now Bolton collects it first for Notts County. He's gone for a... I think that was a cross, but he mishit it. And Kerbin has now collected it. And now is Herbing good? What's he going to do? He's going to roll it out. That's a little bit dangerous. But we do get it away. And now Crow with it on the counter. He goes long. Booty heads it away. Is that the Regan Booty from second yellow card save? If that is, that's quite awesome. And now Herbin's in. That's not awesome. But Herb Herbin's save is. And now, come on. Ten minutes left. It's just non-stop highlights at the minute. Chandler heads the ball away, goes to Ballard, and Ballard ends that highlight, thankfully. Okay, 10 minutes left now. We've made another substitution. Desroy Lake has come on for DiMaggio Wright-Phillips. He's looking a bit tired. He has got the first goal, but we need some fresh legs. And we've gone 4-4-2. More direct passing. And we're going to try and distribute the ball to the target man. So you never know, might be able to nick one on the counter against all this attacking pressure we are under right now. Just about three minutes left of normal time, Notts County coming forward. Dickinson with the ball, goes for the long shot and thankfully that was poor. That's how the game has ended. A mad first half with four goals between both of the teams and a lot of highlights in the second half. But Notts County thankfully couldn't break us down one last time. And you can see the stats here. 20 shots, 2 are 12. 11 on target, 2 are 7. They had a little bit more of the possession. And so let's go team talk. I'm going to go, we did well not to lose. Uh, or unlucky boys, unlucky boys, a couple of them are motivated, uh, you were just unlucky, and unlucky, and unlucky, and so that is where we are going to leave it for today, we're going to have a look at the league table after this game, and then decide where we're going to come back. This is how the league table's looking now, we've dropped down to third, Coventry have also dropped down, how did they get on today? They lost to Lincoln surprising result that and so it's all looking very very tight at the top here because if you have a look at Northampton up top 35 points and then Forest Green down in seventh on 32 points so any make mixture of results could make the league table look very very different in a couple of games time and so let's go and see when are we going to come back for the next episode what are we now middle of November so, do we try and get through the whole of December? Yeah, I think we do. And then I think we come back for Leighton Orient. Leighton Orient and Oldham, or at least one of those two games. Yeah, I say we come back at the start of January. And so, guys, if you've enjoyed that video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. Likes really do help the channel out. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content just like this. And as well, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming for all the news on the channel. And join me as well in the Passion for FM Discord. We're really trying to build it up at the minute, so please do pop in and say hello. And check out all the other Passion for FM YouTubers. think I've got all their details down below. And yet that is all from me for today. I'll be back with you uh, on Wednesday doing my streaming save. My Turkish Delight streaming save over on there to try and raise money for Crohn's and Colitis UK. So I'll see you then Wednesday on there and I'll see you Friday for the next episode of this series. Sayonara.